Okay, so we have a little story of a uh, fridge. So let's start. What happened when the uh, fridge was delivered? Well, the first time it was delivered, both doors had holes in them. Uh, it looked like maybe a forklift hit them right in between or something. Uh, something hit them and put two holes in them. So they, um, I refused, the, refused it, and they couldn't get me a new refrigerator out before I left, So, uh, which, which defeated the purpose of me trying to get the refrigerator before I left and get it in and set up and everything else, which would have solved a bunch of other problems. But regardless, uh, I made arrangements for somebody to be here when the next one came, and... Um, Unfortunately, the guys that were delivering it, uh, they were lazy sons of a guns, and they did that to me when they delivered the other one. They they basically said, oh, it's not going to fit, oh, it's not going to fit, and because I wasn't here to hammer it into them, yes, it will fit. All we have to do is take the front door off, which is two pins, and the doors off the refrigerator, and it goes right on in. Well, they ended up leaving it out on the front porch for my buddy to deal with, uh, which, by the way, after taking the front door off and taking the doors off, went into the, the, the room no problem. So um, I, I have a little heartburn over that. But anyhow... So when we got here, it was in the living room instead of in the kitchen, which it wouldn't have gone in the kitchen anyways, because it would have gone through the second door, but not the third door, and I knew that. Uh, but I had hoped with a little bit of planing and taking some uh, of the thickness off, I'd be able to get it through. But today, after doing some chiseling and planing, it was just, you know, I would have spent hours trying to get it done. So what I ended up doing is this flat part right here of the casing um, is is this right here and there's two trim pieces on the outside here and basically I needed to take this piece off so I had to take the trim piece off and I took this piece off and of course because this is an older home it actually had been built out before because this is the original 2x4 ear and what you see here is what they use for lath and plaster um, and then what they did is they built out on that and then built out on it again to make it a, a smaller door. We're going to, I'm just going to strip all this old stuff off here and then trim it out from right here. Uh, we don't have an actual door on here. It's just a doorway. So I'll just trim it out and it'll just be, oh, roughly, you know, three inches wider than it was when we got here, which would be fine because if we ever want to get the refrigerator out, we know it'll fit. <laughs> yeah, so, um... We got this fridge is, like for me, first fridge with two doors. Yep, and I so, haven't, I haven't leveled it yet. I mean, we haven't, uh, there's a couple of things I still have to do, but as of right now, uh, it's been wiped down and we can actually start to put stuff in there. One of the doors is um, uh, taller than the other and there's an adjustment, but I've got some other things to do, so I'll adjust the door later. I am going to grab a level and just make sure it's level before we start putting a bunch of stuff in there. So, what's the stuff with that, you know, in America, fridges usually are with two doors? They're not usually with two doors. Well, <laughs> so many they are homes with two doors, have. Yeah. But every refrigerator has two doors. One's a refrigerator, one's a freezer. You, you just had the last one where the freezer was on top, and you open that door and the refrigerator is on the bottom. There's actually, the, the other ones that I like are actually, they have a big freezer chest on the bottom, which is a pull-out drawer and then um, two doors up top. I like those, but there was a really good deal on this one. Freezer this side, uh, which is gonna be more room than what we've had in any of our others, and uh, a nice amount of refrigerator space, so uh, this is a, actually a step up from our last one. Yeah, and also the oven. Yep. Yeah, the oven, um, I went with uh, the flat top range versus the, the burners. They're, it, it's all electric here, no gas. A um, couple of the reasons, well, I just like these better. They look a little bit better. But um, the new burners have a sensor in them. And if you don't have completely flat pans, even, even the nice fancy pans that have grooves in them, uh, or if over time one of, um, one of your pans has got a little bow to it one way or the other, that sensor actually makes it cycle on and off more than it normally does. So cooking something sometimes can take forever. I, I can't even stir fry on the stove that we had in Texas because of that sensor and the pan that I had. So I would have had to buy a new pan to, to stir fry and it had to be, you know, completely flat, no grooves. Yeah. 
but this one you don't, you don't, it's, it doesn't have the same sensors. Um, and uh, and all the cabinets you picked and yeah, rented. these are all um, you know they they weren't they weren't uh, fabricated. Um, they weren't prefabricated. They actually came in box disassembled. I had to assemble them, but they're they're, they're all wood. They're not particle board, which is one of the reasons I got them. And they really went together well, so it was nice and easy. Um, and then, uh, yeah, everything everything came together real nice in here. Yeah, looks like a kitchen. Yep, yep. Yeah. We'll, we'll be able to enjoy it as soon as we finish unpacking. So today we gave away U-Haul and the tow. Yep, got so everything out uh, of the U-Haul into the house yesterday, uh, into the storage today. Put the U took the U-Haul back and. Uh, now we're just sorting and settling, and tomorrow's Monday. We both got to get back to work, so we're, we'll be settled enough so we can work tomorrow. But throughout this week, we'll be, uh, you know, there's there's still a lot of um, a lot of organizing because I'm really bad about that. I have to have things a certain way. Uh, Crystal's learned to live with me, knowing that I'm kind of cuckoo, uh, and then um, and that's just the way I am. So. Yes, yeah, so right now some of our boxes are in the other unit, yeah, <laughs> waiting of, to be organized. A lot of boxes are over there because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to move around. Yeah. Yeah. But we yeah. came out of a place that was twice this size. Yeah. yeah. So it takes some adjustment. Yeah, but we'll get we'll get it in. I you know we just we're we'll just organize. Yeah. 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 And clear up. Huh? And do some more clearing up. Yeah. 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 I, I, get, I, I know I know it all. It, it'll all come together. So what's in the plans for today? Well, um, I think we're going to do a little bit more and uh, actually run down to the beach and go stick our toes in the sand um, and then come back and have dinner and relax for a little bit. And I've got, uh, I've got, uh, I've got a meeting tomorrow, a personal face-to-face -face meeting, so I've got to come home and make sure I've got some good-looking duds to do a face-to-face -face meeting, which was all packed up, folded in a box, so we'll probably have to break out the iron, um, shave off some scruff, and uh, and just get prepared for a, a work week and finalize all the settlement. But and the cats, how are they doing? Cats are adjusting quite well. Uh, there's a there's enough stuff in the house, like the couch and their their cat tower and, and everything that that's familiar. The place is new, but um, they can spread their legs and uh, short of. Um, Short of our, our little newest addition, uh, Patches, who uh, has decided to become vocal at about four in the morning, uh, everything's been going well. But we're we're gonna fix that by feeding them later. So we're not quite sure why she's crying at four in the morning. But uh, if it's because she's hungry, we'll just we'll make them suffer longer at nighttime and, and then feed them closer to bedtime, and hopefully they sleep through the night. So you did such an amazing job. You must be very tired. I'm pretty tired. Uh, Does it feel like you did a marathon? Uh, in the yeah, last no, week. it feels like I've been run over by a truck or two. Uh, you know, yeah, my bones and, and muscles are pretty good. So maybe I'm, starting, I'm starting to feel it. Bath with salts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Epsom salt bath might might be the thing tonight, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? So this is Patches. She wants to pose. And she's the one who was basically a feral cat. Yeah, our mama mama kitty that was feral, living outside, feeding out of the dumpsters, all scraggly, totally afraid of everybody and everything. No human contact. Look at her now. She has turned into a lap cat. Oh, yeah. She's like running. Once you sit down, she's running. Like, I want to be the first one to get the first first row seat. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing yeah. watching the transformation. Yeah. Adjusting well. Yeah. And such troopers for two days, like seven, eight hours. Oh, there comes... Little Lucky. Lucky. Yeah, everyone wants to perform. Okay, so thank you for the... The fridge story. Yeah. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha.